What up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Ace Town Rundown. This is your boy AD, and I got my co-host in the building, Jules. What it's up, Raw? What up, Yo. How y'all doing? We doing well. What up? Doing good this Tuesday afternoon, evening. Tuesday yeah, evening. Hey, yeah, baby. It's supposed to be the dead period. Ain't nothing supposed to be happening. We supposed yeah. to be just twiddling our fingers and knitting yeah. and doing all just being bored. The Houston Texans always come with some information. Shout out to Blue Boy Shine coming in. Appreciate you, bro. Um, yeah. you know, Texans always come with some news, man. Um, let's let's just start at the top, man. Cal McNair was voted by the NFL committee um to be the principal owner of the Houston Texans. Mm. He got big joker. <laughs> big joker now, baby. He's a big he's a, he's a, everybody play spades. All my all my black people, all my white people that come to the to the cookout, when you come to say this is what Cal is. He's a big Bam. joker. You know he's what I'm saying? Big joker, man. Not big not joke. his brother, not his old mama, not not That's his it. wife. He the big uh, joker. He hey. make all decisions about the Texans, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Unanimously. Yeah. Unanimously. Oh, 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 oh. Yo. Don't break the table. <laughs> hey, no. Cal McNair is, was unanimously voted in, um, which, you know, brought stability to the Houston Texans. Um, right. It was a little little limbo. We talked about it on here once before, it but uh-huh. it was it was kind of – Kind of pushed to the side, but it was a big deal. Um, you know, they had a legal battle with the brother, um, yeah. Carrie, Carrie. Carrie McNair. Scary, yeah. Carrie, Scary, yeah. Carrie. Carrie was trying to trying to gain control of the mother's um, I guess her estate, and then yeah. in turn, in turn, being basically taking over the Texans because he would be in control of her estate. So right. it was a, a legal battle going on there. Um, Janice and Cal end up winning out. Um. Saying that she was in full mental capacity to do handle business, and then so they swiftly once that was settled, they swiftly moved on to make Cal the principal owner of the Houston Texans, which was I feel like one of the best moves because we can stop talking about you know all the control. Yeah, yeah. Man. And, and, and Cal, Cal do. You, you know what the first thing he did? Thing. First thing he did as full owner of control. He said, y'all want to leak these uniforms? I'm going to leak them the right way. I'm going to leak them the right way. Let me play this big joker. Hey, hey Blue Boy Sean said, Cal finna add a game room in NRG. Dirty <laughs> sitting, on the, hey, no, sitting no, on the floor playing Nintendo. Hey, no, but for, but for real, man, if, if you if you think about how this could have went way left, because you you heard it from uh, – the Jerry Jones, you heard from other owners how much the uh, cow was groomed to be the, the owner, how much he, they love his father, how much Robert meant to the NFL league. And I just think that it could have it could, it went way worse for Texas fans, even a battle for ownership and then not having approval of the of the NFL owners to do a new owner. And that's a man that could be forced to, t- to sell a team. And we're back in trauma. We had no stability as, as, as an organization. The fact that we just now starting to get back to where we are relevant in the, in the world, you needed some, some stability. You needed somebody. You needed everything to go in place. So this is just a, a segue to hey, we have we have a legitimate organization going forward. Yeah, and Cal McNair has been embracing the Houston culture. He's in, he's been embracing social media. Um, Cal McNair is kind of revolutionized. I want to say this: Cal is doing all these things. Under the guidance of his wife Hannah, <laughs> Hannah is the driving force behind. I, don't, I ain't gonna. I was gonna say she the puppet master, but mm-hmm. Hannah is the driving force. I'm being a little more respectful. Hannah is the driving force behind Cal McNair's ascension, especially building that relationship with the community. Um, the McNairs always have been very, very great in the community and very, very right. giving with within the community. When they weren't um, scared for about four or five years, they were they weren't scared for you. <laughs> they doing the bad, the bad, the bad dealers with Easter being all that. They oh, were yeah. scared to come outside on Kirby. Hey, they got they got them out of there, man. They, right. they got Jack on up out of there. Right. But I, I do want to applaud the McNairs for their for their and thank them for you know blessing us with a, a franchise and keeping the franchise alive and moving forward and making the great decisions that they've been making, especially recently um, with the Nico drafting CJ will 
you know, and so on and so forth, and and building that culture and building us into a, a potential Super Bowl winning franchise. Well, like said, like 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 they said earlier in the whole when they when they first uh, got a, a a head coach after they fired Bill O'Brien, <laughs> they wanted they wanted somebody who can be the head the, the head the face of the franchise. Mm-hmm. They wanted somebody so so Nick can be on the background doing his thing. Kyle can just be an owner and just do flip hot hamburgers for for employee appreciations and yeah. uh, ownership pressures and uh, what do you call them? What do you, what, you know? You you won uh, yeah, fan fan appreciation. Fan friend. So he, he he just be that good old boy that just just happy around, but knows a little bit. And we have to give give Kyle credit because a couple years ago we were calling him a clown. We called him Nintendo Boy, and the biggest name was Tommy Boy. <laughs> yeah, they called him Tommy Boy. That, that, that was Tommy Boy, but. He he earned his stripes. He 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 heard what we said. He heard the fans. He heard um shout out to the to Houston radio stations. They were saying stuff, the YouTube videos, Twitter spaces. I mean, we we clowned this man for 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 a good four or five years. For him mm-hmm. to for him to still still want to be an owner of this team, I know his financial situation is top notch. It's still it's still a money maker. Oh but, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. the way he embraced the community and the fandom and wants to bring back Houston to a, a respectable organization. You gotta give this man a credit because he 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 took some slugs, and I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I, I I I I unloaded on him a couple times for the past couple of years about the dumb decisions he's making and all that. But the man has done what he did. We gotta give him respect and understand that he earned his stripes, and I hope he is learning how to be an owner and not just giving something and trying to figure out why he go. I think he finally figured out. Yeah. Well, I think I think a lot of a lot of it has to do with knowing who's on your side to help you. To lead that right. team, mm-hmm. uh, and, and and you know anybody that's in business understands the uh, the the uh, the the impact or the the humbleness that it takes to go from the situation that he was in, the negativity that he was receiving, and to sit down and 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 come up with a whole new plan and to rehash all the stuff that happened is beyond us, but. For him to sit down and to 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 sit down and listen to somebody and say, "Hey, we're going in this direction, and this is not working. Right. It's not working for the city. Mm-hmm. It's not working for the organization as a as a business, and it's not working for for the team. Right. And for him to be as humble as he was, I don't know what credit you want to give him and his wife, but for them to listen to either themselves or put the right person in place, mm-hmm. I think they took it upon themselves." And and they deserve a lot of credit for turning this this organization around, and it's going in the right direction. Oh yeah, for like sure. I, I do want to address Blue Boy Shine. He said the McNairs will put together a Super Bowl team before Jerry will. Um, we, all, we all hope so, buddy. We all he, hope so. Hey man, look, Jerry ain't put put one together in about twenty five years, so. I give you one better. He ain't done it since he owned the team. That was Jerry. That was Jimmy Johnson put the team together. We want to do one do that right. He said he also said he said I'm cool with Hannah being the brains behind the scene. Hey, behind every behind every great man is a better woman, baby. Mm-hmm. Good together. Hey, they do, they do. Um, you know, other news, man. The Houston Texans did um sign a few players. I will touch on the owners' meetings and some of the rule changes that came into effect as well. Right. Um, just we just just gonna touch on it. I don't want to hashtag piss piss people off, but um, uh-huh. we'll talk about that in a little bit. But yeah, the Houston Texans did make three more signings, um, uh, since our last episode. Um, they did sign Mario Edwards Jr., the defensive end slash defensive tackle, right. former Buffalo Bill, former Tennessee Titan, um, Seattle Seahawks, Seattle right. Seahawks. Yeah, yeah the, list, the list goes on for him. But right. he's very, very – he fits in that mold of what they've been bringing in, kind of like the the Nico Autry mm-hmm. mold. They can play inside out. Um, so they, they're they continuing to add pieces on along that defensive line. Right. They also address the secondary um, by draft – not by drafting, by signing um, – uh-oh, uh-oh. There he is. Mike G on CT time. Time, uh, <laughs> you got four, you got four black people on time, but other than Mike, you, you, you kill, you kill the stereotype for white folks always on time. Mike, you bringing up Chris? Hmm? Would you say Chris? It must have been traffic out there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, but but for sure, man, I do want to say, um, the, I was saying, I was talking about the signers. They did address the secondary. Houston Texans did address the secondary, and they did sign C.J. Henderson. Stop it, Mike. Stop it, Mike. Hey. Hey. <laughs> They talking about it, right? We, we're they talking have, about the new. We, we we're addressed talking about the secondary. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Josh? What's good? Hey, we shout out to DJ Walla and Blue Boy Shine and Dante in the chat, man. What up? What up? Hey, um, hey, they made hey. some signings, okay? They did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they did what they can do. They did what they do. They what they can do with the million dollars. Deal. <laughs> to a million, a million now. Hashtag piss people off. Hey. I, I tell you, the, the the greatest the greatest bylaw with the signing of CJ and Jeff Okuda is former top top pick in the 2022 yeah. draft or 2019 85 draft. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have no other accolades, but where were they were drafted? Hey, eons ago. Hey. And hey. not only that, are we going to have a rotation where they just, all right, you're in. All right, next play, you're in as the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Tag, you're, you're not, it. Um. We know what, like I said, we, uh, we, we complained last year when we they kept dropping like flies all yeah. last year. No, so I they, like the depth. I, I, like the I, I can't complain about the depth. I, I just want a legitimate corner, too, opposite but, Steely. Hey, but but like, were they all? But were they all captains? Is the question. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. Did they Mike, all? Were they all former captains? Right. The team? So. But Mike, I mean, uh, I mean, you you paid Jeff Akuda what? A uh, four million and yeah, six million dollars. Up to five dollars. Up to ten. As of as of right now, he's your number two. Hey. As of right now, he's your number so, two. So so seriously, Jeff Akuda was a number three pick, right? Yeah, he was yeah, number he three was, overall. Yeah, Same as Stingley. In 2021. A year, a year before Stingley. Right. DJ was what, a number eight pick? Oh, number two nine, years before right? Stingley. I'm sorry. Two years before Stingley. No, I think he was nine. CJ was number nine, I think. CJ was pick number nine? Yeah, he was oh, top right. ten as well. Yeah. yeah. Desmond King was the first or second round? Desmond King. Second Ooh. round pick, I think. Second, second, third round pick. I don't think no, so. I think he was second. Yeah, he was second round pick. Yeah, so but he was, he was a great they player. also signed. They also signed a potential Desmond King replacement in Miles Bryant, um, cornerback, former cornerback for the New England Patriots. Okay, I'm, 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 I watch a lot of football. Somebody tell me who that is. Man, Chris, <laughs> I was saying this, Chris, bro, you took the words out of my mouth. My mouth, bro. I was like, I wanted somebody to tell me who this nigga was. I'm, I'm looking. like, who is Miles Bryant? They put. They put Des Bryant and uh, Miles Garrett together to come with a quarterback. I don't know who this cat was, but I, I can't I, even say nothing. Only thing I can say was he knew he knew Bill Belichick. <laughs> he, he knew, he knew Nick Bill so Bill well. Yeah. Look, let me he say this. Good. As a nickel corner, he had I think seventy-seven tackles last year. Over seventy mm. tackles the last two years. Mm. Good job. First That's season. That's it. What year? What, hey. what year is he in the league? And where? What college did he? He's only been. A, he's only twenty-six years old. Okay, okay. but he was. Was he so he's only pick? been in the league like four or five years. Where is was he, he a from? Top 10 pick? Was he a top ten? No, pick? he was a he was he was an undrafted free agent. Okay, okay. That's, oh, so wow. that, that, yeah, that's that off. Yeah, was, was, he was a captain. So, was he a team so captain? Can we, can we, <laughs> I don't know. Does that mean we can wipe off? Um, we can wipe away uh, uh, our boy from Miami. No, no, no Xavier. No. No. Xavier, no, look, just, yeah, you know, let's, look, I Xavier. Now nah, they they making jokes. But Xavier out here panhandling and trying to get to the Texas. He's trying to get to the Texas. I'm trying to figure out why they ain't done it. He said, he said, man, I played for Kirby. And I, I'll, I'll get some nickels <laughs> off the street. <laughs> just come to Kirby. Come on, man. Hey, so just, give me, just, give me them, just give me them sodas. Give me some sodas. I can, <laughs> I can look for and go ahead and, and, and break me off with some of them nachos and, yeah, and them Bobby chicken burgers y'all got back there. Go you ahead and break give me a little, give me a little trill burger gift card. You know, what and what then, you know, you I'm, know how I'm, I'm, work. you know how it is when you when you're the semi pro league, little league, when you got to bring ten tickets. You know what I'm saying? To, 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 to be ten. That's all you <laughs> right, do. Right. Hey, look, I, I, I'll sell ten tickets every every game for you. Know what I'm saying? Just put me on the squad. <laughs> Just let me play, man. Let me play, coach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What Nick play. Honor, what Nick doing? The son of man. Because you ain't because you ain't got nothing else. You got so you got bodies. Well, according according to the, the streets are saying it's more than <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with the money. It ain't got nothing to do with none of that. It's it's the quote unquote personality fit. 
Oh yeah. Same. Oh. Like I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna say something. Chris, Chris has been saying for years. At this yeah. point, bro, we, we, we not, we ain't, we ain't that no more, bro. We, 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 don't, we, we don't care for no personality. If the man can play, let's go. Play. I think D'Amico eliminates a lot of that personality fit type stuff. Right, because they said, Joe, they said, a lot of people are still on Twitter, which I ain't on Twitter more, but I get emails and text messages about it. They said we wouldn't get Joe, um, Joe on mixing because of his, his condition. It was because only it, one, there was only two people I saw on the internet that said that. That was our good friend Sean Pendergast from 16. Um, and our boy, and our boy VT. And there were some people from um, Texas 22. And there were some guys on Bleach Report said the same thing. So that's I'm talking about on the on that's what I saw on the internet. I ain't talking about on the bleach port is on separate thing. Right. I'm talking that's about some, just on just on the internet. That's some that's some that's some Yahoo was on, on, on Bleach Report probably. I thought I thought Twitter was bad. Hey, creeps come out at night. I was gonna say <laughs> freaks. freaks. I'm trying to speaking say of, freaks. Speaking yeah. of those free agents that we did sign, mm-hmm. do you think we add any more to the DB room or do you think we add any more to the defensive line room? Chris, I asked you one question. As I'm being humble, honest. Who are safeties? That's that's a great question. <laughs> who who who's our safety? Who's our hey, safety? I, well, right well, no, let me answer like that, then, Jules. We got Petrie. I mean, right. everybody was in, everybody was in love with Petrie year one. We safety. got Petrie. We you got Jimmy you. Ward. Jimmy Ward. Oh, Amstring. Oh, he pulling Amstring. Think about his name right now. We got <laughs> <laughs> we got we got backing him up. We got Lonnie Johnson. Mm. Mm. And then backing him up, we got Eric Murray. I still don't. I, I, hold on, we got and, MJ Stewart. MJ Stewart is still there, and that's what I'm saying. Who, who, well, MJ Stewart safety? got him a spot because he on special team. <laughs> yeah, all of them special team. <laughs> 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 so, so like, I, I want to say this. <laughs> like, I just called out the whole special team. Right, the look, call, call, look, the push, push yeah, point Lonnie, Lonnie Johnson should be an inspiration <laughs> to people. Because I ain't no way in hell right. when he came back to the city of Houston after the way he got roasted. Oh. We literally had a funeral on Twitter. No, you had a funeral. No, we had a funeral. No, we had a funeral. We were all there present. We were all there present. We were all there present. And we all had words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Great performance. We all had words. You led the rosary on, boy. <laughs> we all we all had words for Lonnie Johnson. We oh, said uh, we we bid him goodbye. Um and then like that we out that number one jersey like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Look, like a bad yeah. rash, you come back. Let me yeah. say this also, man. Lonnie Johnson new nickname is Beetlejuice. <laughs> um say his name enough, he gonna appear. He gonna come back. <laughs> but the, the man came back home. But he come what? back home. But he's saying all the right things. He said he was immature. He said he had the coaching staff. He like his flip back and forth. He knew mm. what to do. He he was a good pro. He had to yeah. he had to he had to go around get cut by eighteen right. times from thirteen different teams. You know what I'm saying? Hands, we trust. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, so this, this is the Lord funny, He said Casario done been struck by lightning at least three times. That's why he <laughs> always looks shocked. <laughs> We right. were trying to say making that motherfucker the first sign in the free agency was <laughs> true joke. Man, <laughs> boy, no, I when I and let's let's go back three weeks ago when we had this whole conversation. That was my whole conversation for day one. Out of everything you do, the first thing you do is sign Lonnie Johnson, and I, I wasn't about to flip. I got Super Bowl Everybody aspirations. Got mad. And you gonna sign Lion Johnson <laughs> piss people off, and I was gonna be calm. Me calm. I was like, nah, I can't have it. I can't have it. He had to shake you up just to get you going. Man. So, that, so he can make the right moves later on. <laughs> he did. And, <laughs> and, we, and we can <laughs> go back to the, the whole D line. Like the way he's signing players and the players he's signing, there should never be it's, a Texas should always be in the quarterback face. With the depth of rotation that D'Amico has mm-hmm. in the line, so they should they should stay fresh all the time. There, there's one there's one thing that I feel like the Texans need to address. Um, this is a hashtag piece piss people off. Um, pretty mm-hmm. sure it's going to be a lot of comments about this, but Houston Texans should should go ahead and pull the trigger on on getting them a linebacker. 
um, Adrian Cooper in the draft. I don't um, know. I ain't going to fight you. Um, I know it's a lot of people that are anti-linebackers saying, well, we already got two. Well, if Aziz or Christian Harris get hurt, I know damn well y'all not about to put out the Henry Noah Noah. And, and Jake and, Hansen. And Jake Hansen. And Jake Hansen. <laughs> I think we about to do something. Um, I think every team needs at least three linebackers in the NFL, period, regardless of what the, what the situation is. Adrian Cooper, if he plays, I think it was somebody who was saying it on space, if he plays 40% of the time, that's okay for a rookie. Oh, so 60 per, 60% of the time he's he's 100 percent correct. <laughs> <laughs> and if he's on and if he's in if he's impactful in those 40 percent of the plays, he's gonna that's gonna boost up and then if somebody's gonna, you know, playing time gonna get taken down, whether it be at the nickel spot or whatever. But having an athlete and a, an impact player like Cooper in your linebacker room, along with Christian Harris and Aziz Al Shahir, mm-hmm. that you talking about Probably the fastest linebacker group in the NFL, right? And and the most athletic group of linebackers in the NFL. Uh, I will say this, man. I want I want to say, if I can, say this this year Texas fans need to be prepared to be one of the best linebacker players that you've ever seen all in in, in a lot it's of true. Texas mm-hmm. history. Right. That Aziz Asher here. I came sorry, brother. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Hey, hey, hey. I said it right. I got it right. <laughs> Aziz, I'm with you, brother. He is going to be somebody that Texas fans fall in love with. His energy level, the way he plays, the way he flies around, the way he celebrates after making a tackle, the way he celebrates with teammates when they make plays. He is going to be the electricity to that defense, man. I know y'all hear Jimmy Ward back there talking a lot. Y'all hear him talking and bumping and all that. Aziz is going to be electricity. He's going to be the guy that y'all we've been looking for. We should have had him two years ago. I'm glad we got him now. So whoever backs him up, I don't see them getting much playing time. We do run that 4 2 five a lot. There's another guy. Let me say this one time real quick, Drew. There's another guy a lot that I was thinking about the other night was Jamal Adams. Would he, could he fit in that hybrid mode that, that uh, Desmond King plays? The linebacker? Yeah, like in that linebacker where he comes in and plays that nickelback spot. But well, on the Chris, well, on the, but, on but, but Chris. he plays – that nickelback spot plays close to the line, and he's more like that hybrid linebacker play. Yeah, but, but he on the, on doing the, that, Chris. Well, uh-huh. on the back, Chris is like – you don't you don't have a cover safety at all still. Right, right, right. right. I, I get it. I'm just asking, yeah. could he fit in that, that hybrid spot? There's a difference between playing that free safety spot than right. playing that, that nickelback spot. Because I mean he could cover some tight ends, but he's not good at the slots and all that. I get that. But so, if you put him down in that box, he can help you better than, than King can what, to stop in the wouldn't, run. Wouldn't Diggs yeah. wouldn't Diggs be a better fit, Quadre Diggs? I mean, well, that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. I just thought about him. I see no, him the other day, but like Chris point, I, I see what Chris talking about. You know, that yeah, box but then, then why? Like I said, then I still think the mistake of bringing back Stewart's back, a bad mistake because you can have John Adams. Well, was Stewart, was, Stewart was on the team. Well, you talking about he, Eric Murray. He, Eric Murray, you can cut right. for him and put put Jamal Anderson on them and be better fit than than those two guys. There's either one of them, right? right. Look, but all I, got, I, got, all I got, got to say about those two guys, they did damn good for two and a half games this year. Right. Playing, subbing in until yeah. the uh, their, their, both of their ultimate demises getting hurt in the Saints game back to back. Back to back. Um right. on consecutive plays, might that might I add. Um so you know, shout out to them for having a good two and a half games of, of playing time. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey Mike, hey, what, 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 what's this, Mike? Is it Joker? Uh, what's what's the H what's the H what's the H mean right there? The H? Yeah, what the H mean. It's a big joke. Yes, the hot joke. That's 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 for Kyle. You mean you missed it because you was late on um on time. <laughs> but I want to I, I want to bring it back. Don't forget that <laughs> who's the hot joker on the on the Texas organization. That's Kyle Manel. We can't let that gloss by. I'm to make sure you know that the hot joker means it's the best, the highest car you got, and that's who we that's what we got. We got Kyle, former Tommy Boy McNair. 
as the head joker on the Texas team. That's gonna make sure that the Texas beats. High joker, uh, baby. Take all, take all the books out. What, what you got, Mike? We, we, what you we, got to say today, Mike? Oh, uh, I mean, I, I got nothing on that. I was gonna say. See <laughs> <laughs> so you ain't what the. So Mike know Mike might know what white man is in charge around here. <laughs> in regards to Adams, they don't call him Blitz Boy for nothing. Uh, right. Yes, he got still got I, speed. I, I would yes. never dig so. Why is Simmons still out there? Is it just the market? Is he asking for too much? And he's not able to come down at all. Like I think that's it. I think he, said, what, he it. look. He took the words out of Swan's mouth. I said what I said, right. and I want what I want. So right. here's, the, here's the question. When he was cut, fuck you, click. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, click. So when he was cut, how much money did he get from the from the uh, the Broncos? The question, no, the real question is, does D'Amico want him over Jimmy Ward? I, look, I know this. Yeah. Jimmy Ward is guy. Know, look, Chris, right, to right. that to that to that point you just made, I honestly think Jimmy Ward and D'Amico Ryan's had a handshake deal. Right. That Jimmy Ward is gonna be on this roster. Look at I'm I'm at the head don't make any signs. He, I'm the, it, D'Amico said he is not <laughs> co- gonna you, cut. You gotta Jimmy say Ward. that for last, June. Listen, I'm 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 gonna need I'm gonna need <laughs> the head joker to, to talk to D'Amico and say Ward cannot be on this team going Look. forward. I need I, I need Let you me say the this, head man. joker. Well, nobody nobody yeah. want to see Ward next year. Look. Only time I'm look, Jimmy Ward does great in pregame speeches. I've been to the games. Jimmy Ward gives the best pregame speeches ever. Um, yes. if you can imagine he gets the team hype and gets them ready. Yeah. He did win us a game this year. Y'all yeah. don't want to don't he slide did. over that. Yeah, fact. Yeah. So, yeah. Game yeah. Yeah. so did Desmond King, too. But don't, that don't mean down. Desmond don't ain't win us no damn game. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, 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 did. He, he closed out one game for us. No, he did not. Okay, well, you know, you know, John Gennard had had a great speech too, but his ass got Minnesota. I don't give a damn, but I don't got no speeches. <laughs> hey, I need some oh, so, so let me touch on this, you know, before we go in, because we're gonna we're gonna pre, you know, play a few videos from the Mizzou and the Magnaris. Um, Is Hannah maybe, talking? I just want to see Hannah. Yeah, That's yeah, Hannah, Han- okay. Hannah, Hannah Montana Long. is talking. See, she makes um, the whole organization look good right there. Yeah, I got, I got, I got, hey. I got. I got a call for her too. Way to go, Hannah! Shout hey. out to Hannah. <laughs> but now that they there were a few rule changes that that came into effect um, that potentially could impact the Texans. Flag um, football. The hip hip drop tackle is now banned. Flag football. And will no, will result in a fifteen yard penalty, automatic first down. And that's why you that's why you can't resign. Uh, Desmond Desmond Pyramid, and you can't resign. Yes. Uh, old man. Uh, Cream Jackson, because they can't tackle this in this world. They, 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 this not, it's not the air no more. Hannah Fine, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That look, look, did well, somebody say they want to hip tackle Hannah? No. <laughs> he want to drop the hip. Hannah Fine, no, he said, I ain't doing a hip drop, I just want to drop the hip. On drop the didn't, hip he the, <laughs> didn't he? Didn't he get the interception against the Saints? Who was he? Uh, I think he. I don't know if he's talking about Jimmy Ward. I don't. That wasn't the Saints game that he made that interception. That was the um, the Broncos game. Okay, mm. that was the Broncos game. At the end of the game, yeah. I think he's talking about uh, King. Who? Who? I think he's talking about King. King he wasn't on the team the against the Saints. Well, somebody he wanted. He he, he was. It, had, it was Jimmy game. Ward. It was that. There was that game. King had that interception, or you know, that fumble strip, and they called it back. I'll that was the Denver too. game too, but oh, Denver, right? They uh, called the penalty. All right, right. I, I, I'll let it go. I'll let yeah, it go. Yeah, let's, let's 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 move on. But letting the hip drop tackle, people talking about they want to drop their hit and um they hip in, in Hannah. Um, oh man, <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, Rain. Gonna get you, boys, man. Y'all better watch. Yeah, yeah. How you Look, it's, it's a like, lot. It's a lot of fascination over Hannah McNair, boy. They be on this Twitter. Yeah. Salivating over Hannah. Yeah. And then when Hannah be walking around and boys be nothing. Yeah. 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 Hey, y'all Hannah. got. I, I know. Hold on, Chris. Y'all got yeah. to stop being disrespectful to to to, uh, to the big joke. To, to the big joke. Y'all see that? Y'all still signing? <laughs> that big joke. Yeah. Y'all got to stop y'all being disrespectful. I see it. See. Is that the red helmet with the signature? No. Look. No. Look. Look. Who signed it? What does yeah. say, Hannah? 
Yeah. Hannah with a with a heart. Hannah, Hannah with a heart. Hey, for all y'all for all y'all fans who gonna meet Hannah. gonna meet us at the training camp sessions, stop cat calling this man white in front of him. Y'all stop now messing he, over that man he, white. He the head joker yeah. now. Okay, he the head the head yeah. Negro in charge. Okay, he the head joker. Oh, man, see, so see, if he the head joker. <laughs> I can't read that. That boy I said, put on a Hannah in a school drill outfit and wear that ass up. Oh, no. Listen, hold man, on, this, hold this, on. This, 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 this ain't, this ain't uh, Britney Spears from 1999. Now, come on. Now, let's just. <laughs> hey, hey, Josh, you Josh, Josh said, I, want, I just want me a woman that look at me the way Hannah look at Cal. <laughs> Hannah don't look at Cal like that. She look past Cal and look at that bank account. Right. Yeah, she be yeah. looking at Cal like <laughs> You be looking at Cal like, okay, that's enough, Cal. Hush. Josh, 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 if you had a billion dollar um franchise, I look, it'll be a plenty of women lining up to look at you like Hannah looking right. at Cal. Right. Hannah helped him get that company. They call it trophy wise, yeah. homeboy. It ain't, it ain't hard to find when you got when you got a she couple of people. Trophy wife. <laughs> she molded her trophy wife. Well, she oh, got some shit. Shit. Hey. Look, but let's let's finish these rules off so we can we can go through these interviews and do our. That's a fifteen our yard penalty. Flag automatic football. first down. Look, <laughs> also they changed the kickoff rules. Oh yeah. So now the kickoff rules, I think, if you kick it out of bounds or kick do a um, what they call it a touchback, mm -hmm. the ball will be placed at the thirty yard line instead of the twenty. Yeah. Or the twenty five, so you get an extra five yards on that. And then also they moving. The the players the opposing sides closer together, mm. um I think within five yards of each other, five or ten yards of each other. Is so, it um, that XFL stuff? Yeah, it's what they did in XFL like two years ago. Player yeah. safety. Um, it's safety. what they do. It's what they do. Um, I think in the CFL a lot. You mean the, the, the combination? Oh, that's yeah, it. they do a combination. Um, yeah. what is that shit? Oh, uh, okay, and then um. G. Ralph say we need to get Hannah next to Lindsay. Oh man, I I told you that's Lindsay's sister. Lindsay's the triplet. She's that she's that one that came out last. The run they forgot about. They you know. Wow, wow. <laughs> Let me man. stop letting wow. Lindsay, Lindsay, my girl, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn, you need uh, to pull that joke out. Shout out, Yvonne. <laughs> you need that big joke, up, dude. Shout out, Lackville. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The look, views hey, of the co-host. Lackville, Lack you was only two minutes later than Mike. So you you all right. <laughs> Pick up your pace, man. Hey, but no, man, it, it was a it was, I think any more any more rule changes um they that's that's happening. Nah, man, they, they it's it's good. I mean they, 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 the rules they are just do. making it it's just making it hard for Old old school football fans like ourselves who who love the game and the volume of getting hidden to appreciate the game. The yeah, that, players that, got, the players got to learn how to play, and it's going. It's going. They, they're still going to play, but you can tell it's and and I hope I'm, this is my this is how I feel. It's not a reflection of anybody on YouTube or the Houston Rundown. Mm -hmm. It's all geared to fancy football sports and scoring. Yeah. Well, well, also, man, they, you got to imagine though. These guys do a lot of analytical observations, and the analytics tell them that. As a percentage-wise, this certain type of tackle is injuring more players than other types of tackles. The only problem that I see it as a former player is the fact that you're limiting every aspect of ability for them to tackle. Right. First, you tell them they can't hit them high, so they go low. Now you tell them they can't hit them low, so they go to the knees. Now they can't hit them in the knees because their heads are down. It's hitting a defenseless player. Now they got to wrap up. Now they're wrapping up, and they're taking them down. Now you don't want them to wrap up and take down. So eventually it's going to be a third tackling situation where all you got to do is hit them and that's it. And then the play stops or you're going to have to pull out them flags. It's, it's putting a lot of pressure on defenders hey. and giving a lot of advantage to the offense. Let me, let me how, say are gonna, how are you going to call that, AD? Let me, let me say this, Chris, to that point. If anybody, I know it's a lot of Houston fans, um, basket, you know, college basketball Cougar fans, you know, they watch our podcast. If y'all watch that game on Sunday night You're against the Texas and them Maggies, that's how the NFL gonna be. It's gonna be a foul every, <laughs> every time. It's gonna be a flag every time you turn around. It's a flag or a jump ball. Um, 
yeah, it's going to position arrow changing. Um, <laughs> so, but, yeah, that, that's, 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 it's going to be real, real watered down. Um, they take, they're trying to take the violence out the game. Um, they, they trying to make it, if y'all notice the, um, what is that? The pro bowl game. Yeah. They, they, they're trying to eventually trying to make it. A seven on seven. Uh, yeah. Seven on seven, kind of like a, you know, variation of, of that pro bowl game. But I do want to go to Yvonne. She said, is there a pay subscription in of you, any of y'all groups? Not no. We, this, this is free. This is free right now, but <laughs> but what you can do is get all your cousins, your sisters, your brothers, mm-hmm. your aunties and uncles, and, and your, all your friends. Let's say it all I'll together. That right, just go Let's ahead and tell ride. them to like, share, and subscribe to the podcast and support us as much as possible. And we, we give them to the people, man. You know, yeah, we appreciate yeah, all yeah. your support. Just keep on showing up, Yvonne. Every every time we post on the week on every weekly basis, man, we, we appreciate you coming in. Shout yeah. out Yvonne. And then um also Josh brought up a good point. The trade deadline was moved back one week from week eight to week nine. So we right. got one extra week. So so my guy, my guy, I got a question for you. What what's the most as a football fan who likes defense, when you see a player just give his shoulder, it, it, that has got to be the the most infuriating tackle you've seen, but that's where the league is going. Mm-hmm. That you yeah. that you have to get a shoulder you they're, they're shoulder tackling and hopefully they they fall down but these Yvonne, guys are getting bigger. Yvonne said they'll be they'll just be pushing. Right. <laughs> you 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 seen a couple plays in Texas did where you where he had a good shot to wrap up or tackle him but he didn't he tried to shoulder tackle him and he yep, bounced yep. off and got ten more yards. Yep. Yeah, I remember so flag you football when you when you first play flag football how they teach you how to block. Right. Make, so how do you tackle it grab they make you grab your own jersey with your with your whole fist and, mm. and bump your chest up against the other guy. That's what it's gonna be. You're right, not gonna how, be how G Rob say NFL will find me if I was a referee. I ain't pulling that flag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, then whatever so, happened, happened. Like, how do you how do you tackle guys like A Train and Hill and all these speed guys and these small guys? You can't you can't hit them high. You can't hit them low. When you do grab him by the by the on his, on, to by one foot of his body, you can grab, and you do a hip town because all the only you can grab. Hmm. You can't grab nothing else because those guys are, are skilled, fast, hey. and quick, and they move. So they where you, to, how you supposed to grab them? They about to look. They about to start doing the Christian Wilkins. Hmm. Well, he, got, <laughs> he, got, he got he got a, he got, a, he, got a, he got an ugly ass. Sack dance, though. I'll tell you that, that, oh. that. I don't know what kind of sack dance he was doing. All I'm this let you at a dance, but <laughs> all this shit. What, what is all that? You know what I'm saying? Jesus. It was I'm glad you had a dance on the end of that sentence. Oh, sorry. Pause. I thought you were talking about that photo for a second. Oh, no, no. I was talking about Christian Wilkins be grabbing, grabbing ass and grabbing. Oh, see, I was, whole, I, I was in a whole different football mode. You all being nasty <laughs> over there shit. <laughs> Ain't next no. day. Blue Boy Shine said the NFL don't give a damn. I honestly believe they eventually won a 20 game season. I felt like 16 was a lot back in the day. Shit getting out of hand. Yeah, I agree. Uh, G Rob say we headed that way to flag football. Right. I mean, hey, it's it's a lot going on. Um, but I do want to touch on it. Um, shout out to Aaron Wilson, who was down in Orlando and got all the exclusive content and videos <laughs> of you know. The McNairs, the Miko Rhines, and and all of that. So well, let's go ahead and touch on a few. Um, let me know if y'all can hear. Okay, can y'all hear it? Yeah, yes. these videos are or by who? Who's who's the video? Aaron Wilson. This is from Aaron Wilson. Aaron Wilson at Aaron Wilson underscore NFL. Y'all go ahead and give Aaron a follow. My black king, black king, my the Miko Rhines, my black king. Hey, but no, he been he been putting oh, out all this content. Oh, Jules, damn. Yeah, Jules. <laughs> Jules is on one tonight, boy. You on one. Hey, but now let's take a listen to Let me he's talking about CJ Stroud on this video. Oh. Excited to have him back. Excited to have That's another team. Back. He's a great teammate last year, so excited to see how he continues to grow. We haven't asked you about CJ yet, and he had such a great rookie year. At the end of the season, you talked about, hey, there's more. There's more in front of him. What do you see from him this offseason, and where do you see 
just in terms of more things he can do and where he is right now. Okay, with CJ, I see him this offseason is really taking a huge jump. Now coming in, he doesn't have to relearn a playbook. He knows what we're asking him to do. Now he can be more honed in on the details of his mechanics, all those small things where he can get better as a quarterback. He really jumped off in his first year just with his leadership. Although he's a young player, the leadership, what he brings to the locker room really stood out. And now as he continues to grow, a lot of film is out here on him now. So the defenses will have tendencies on him. So now it's a matter of him really honing in on himself and attacking all of the little details to be a step ahead of the defense system. So my I don't coach, know, did everybody hear that pretty good? My coach, my coach hit it directly on the head. How can yeah, speaking he adapt? Of, speaking of head, adapt? Speaking of head, no homo. Speaking of head, uh, <laughs> pause. Yeah, no, pause. no, 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 no homo. Speaking of head, somebody need to get that boy a good old Gillette commercial. My five. Because <laughs> he's he, he rocking for all his bald-headed brothers. He is rocking that shiny dome, man. You know, and and, and that's my coach, man. He's doing it big, man. Oh, uh, right. I, I think I think he is excited. He's doing well. Mm, I'm sorry. Yeah, just to speak on it, I, I think he's excited to have this guy in place. CJ is almost like a walking advertisement. He's like he's like marketing all by himself. Hey, this like, is funny. Hey, this is funny. He say uh, no, no Diddy. Uh, that's the new one, huh? No, yeah, no Diddy. Diddy. No kidding. But, but uh, like we're saying, though, I mean, yeah, any, any, anything that D'Amico wants now, he can almost just he can almost pull up a card like the the small if the if the big Joker is Cal, the small Joker is CJ, right? And, and you can pull that card up, and you can show CJ, and 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 you got free agents coming, you've got you got talent that wants to be here. Uh, you you've got players that want to play for you. You got coaches that want to coach. You got the media that wants to see him play. You so got, you got Xavier Howard, a panhandle on Kirby, trying to play with CJ <laughs> in Texas. <laughs> you got all kind of dudes just trying to be a part of what CJ is, and you can hear it in the media. You can hear the the, the people talk about it. I haven't heard as many college wide receivers. I've seen them ask the question like to six receivers, and the question is. Which one of these quarterbacks would you like to play for in the NFL catch passes from? And not every single one of them, not one of them failed to mention CJ Stroud. Right. And so they watching them. And so CJ is that is a guy, just speaking about this interview question, CJ is a guy that just he's 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 perfect for us and, and is doing wonders for D'Amico. Yeah. For sure, for sure. I agree. Yeah, yeah. My bad for talking so long. No, no, he good. I do want to play a few more D'Amico clips, and then we're gonna get in the Hal and Cal. Hal, I'm saying Hal, Cal and Hannah. I'm trying to put them together. Um, oh, I'm about, to, I'm about to put them together. Yeah. How important was that for what you guys want to do on offense and to continue? Um, my bad. Just to, just to preface it, this is D'Amico talking about us bringing back Dalton Schultz. Okay. How important was that for what you guys want to do on offense and to continue to help CJ Stroud? Getting Dalton back was huge for us. Dalton, oh, no, I got it. He showed up really big time in those critical moments. And we needed him two minute situations. Dalton has very sure hands, and he's a no. safety blanket for CJ. Uh, whenever he gets in trouble, you know, Dalton is there, and Dalton. Nine times out of ten, he's going to make a play for you. So whenever you can get a, a guy, Dolphins caliber back, who can make plays in the pass game, really stress the defense at the intermediate level, Dolphin can really open things up for our offense. So excited to have him back. Excited to have his leadership back. He was a great teammate last year. So excited to see how he continues to grow. We haven't asked you about CJ yet, and he had such a great rookie year. Hey, and can, I throw, can, can I throw a flag on the play? Uh -huh. I read a flag. He said, Dr. Stroke got great hands. <laughs> hey. Right. <laughs> a flag right. on the play. He's saying, coach, saying, coach, coach <laughs> Look, King Flock to say cap. <laughs> cap, <laughs> cap, man, there's some plays that he should have. Hey. Now, there was some great grabs he did. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie, but I got to throw a flag on that one. I gotta, we got we to replay on that one. There's some, there's some plays that he let the ball get to his hands, and he just dropped for no reason. But, but can, can we also have the conversation that um, for Texas fans who won a big 
time pass catcher free agency, all that stuff. They think they think it's Schultz. They they the Texas organization really think that Schultz was their big free agent signing for the offense for CJ. Well, they did trade for Joe Mixon too, but let, yeah. let's let's hear a little bit more D'Amico, and then I think we're going to two more clips of D'Amico. This one he talking about Aziz Al here, what Chris expanded on, and then we're going we're going to jump to the Daniel Hunter, um, his comments on Daniel Hunter as well. Bring a physical style of play to our defense. He's going to bring leadership. Uh, he had a really great season last year with the Titans. So seeing him two times a year, it was uh, you could see the the growth that he made as a player. He uh, he played a lot of snaps for them. Uh, last year he was healthy, so we look for him to just bring the same thing, bring that intensity, bring his leadership to our team, and just be himself and help us to be better. Same thing kind of with Danico Autry. He played against him a little bit. Yeah. Nick, Nick was, was pretty excited about <laughs> Autry. He said, you know, he's the type of guy you'd bring him into the back alley with you. Yeah, no doubt. You If you watch the tape, you know Autry is a <laughs> a great football player. He loves football. You can tell it. Just by watching his tape and the respect that he has around the league, not only I'm a from thug. offensive linemen but also other defense linemen, I understand his play style and how effective he is as as a player playing inside, playing outside. He gets it done. So excited to add, you know, his relentless mindset to our team. What makes the Hunter unique? Obviously, he's an accomplished rusher. He's yeah. also a local guy, and people call him very athletic for his size. Yeah, Daniel's definitely. A, a big guy, a big guy, but he has the length. I think that's what sets you apart as a, as a pass rusher. Daniel's length and his ability right. to wow. consistently, you know, get after the quarterback. No diddy. Uh, he's had double digit sacks multiple times in his career, and we're looking for him to add constant pressure on the quarterback. I know Daniel is excited to be back home in Houston. We're excited to have him here in Houston because, you know, not too many times, not often, you get to play in front of your family, uh, your high school, your old high school, like a lot of people will be rooting for the deal. So we're happy to have a Houstonian back playing for the Texans. What kind of went into uh, – we got traded for Mixon. What kind of went into uh, extending him? He wasn't the last year of his deal. So what kind of – what was kind of behind – thought process behind extending him? Yeah, what was the same there, I mean, adding a great player to our team and mm-hmm. wanted to – you know, we knew we had to fix the contract, mm-hmm. and that was the same situation there. Mm-hmm. In, uh, Don't mix so, He's still you know, like me. I could, I could a, understand a what he was saying. To your team. He's deserved what he's gotten, and that's all the guys that contract. They deserve what they've gotten. They've shown it on film, and that's the result of him being a consistent player this way. Why did y'all end up um, trading Malik Collins and me? Feel like y'all. Said, I don't want to hear about no Malik. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. What uh, what what went into giving Joe Mixon an extension on his contract? Same thing I did for uh, Shake Mass. Uh, uh, so he Shake, his Shake his Mace comment his comment was. They had to fix his contract, um, adjust his contract because Deserving. they felt like that he deserved a, another contract. Was well, that and that's true. You, you're supposed to do that with all the free agents that you bring in like that. That's what we were supposed to do with uh, Laramie Tunsil when we brought him in that year. Mm-hmm. And so it's the same way with him because if you don't do that right now, they can hold you over the flame if he has another good year. Right. So mm-hmm. – no, let's let's jump into Cal and Hannah. Um, Hold on, one second. Remember, remember, we had a conversation with uh with uh, with Nick at the, the uh, season ticket holder beating. I asked same question about Shaq Mason being traded. Then you redid the contract. Mm-hmm. Same same situation. You want your veterans that you trade for that you really want to be comfortable and happy in the organization to help you get to the next level. Mm-hmm. Hey, you, you know what else was funny? I want to mention about that comment. Did y'all did y'all listen to the uh, to the comments that that, that uh, Nick gave about uh, uh, um, Danico? Uh, he 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 damn near used the he damn near cursed when he was talking hey. about. Danico. Look, Danico, it took him it took everything in him not to say it was a dog. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, but Nick Nick said he's a bad motherfucker. Hey, you know yeah. what song? No song played in my head when he he's smart. That uh, I'm a thug. That's what that's what I, that's what I heard. Because I'm a thug. <laughs> That's why he gave him all that money because he thought he was a bad yeah. motherfucker. Look, hold on. Can I say, can I say, my wife used to look at me like this, my second wife. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all know Killer Cal on like his fifth wife, mm. um, he said he, he got to, he got to, 
got to keep him around. So, but now this is Cal McNair acknowledging um him becoming the principal owner, which is what we talked about at the beginning of the podcast. Honor and a privilege, you know, to, to take up that. Mom has done a tremendous job the last five years, I think, and um, just put us in a great shape with her leadership and um, her vision of where she wants the, things to go. And, and dad before that for 15 or 16 years. Funny. All and laying the foundation for us to move forward, and it's, it would be an honor if I were to receive the vote. Kind of walking around here, do you kind of feel like the perception of of, of Texas football has shifted ever since y'all started the game the success y'all had, you know, earlier um, in your time with the Texas franchise? Do you feel that shift, or have you noticed that change at all? And, and, and how is that? Uh, well, I think we're the same. We're hard working. We're trying to make good decisions every day and let, let that speak for itself. And if other people want to think one way or the other, they're certainly free to do that. But I don't know that it changes us. I think the perception of the game, uh, it depends on the lens you're looking through, right? So I think there's more youth watching it. I think there's more youth involved, whether that's through um, fantasy football or um, watching videos on YouTube. Uh, there you go more involvement as in go as well um kids are wanting to do what they're seeing their uh, these superstars do without in the nfl so i think it it depends on which lens you're looking through if you're an old school guy who watched you know the steel curtain then you're going to see it a different way than maybe the kids who are watching it these days um now as a mother you know if you're looking at the game you're going okay what's the safest way for my child to play football and all of my kids do mm-hmm. play time better ways to keep them safe as well and that's in actually every sport not just football yeah that's a good point because our <laughs> demographics has changed we're a different game than we were <laughs> years ago totally different uh, and, and we we understand that good jones <laughs> the boy said that's a good point <laughs> <laughs> Jay say, get you a woman that looks at you like kind of looks at Cal when he responds to a question. Um, and Killer Cal say he on his third wife. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Blue Boy Shine say, not a scratch on her. <laughs> and then Blue Boy Shine say, Cal look like that Santa Claus that be in the mall with the screaming kids. Right. And Miss Claus is having his hand the business. Like, I mean, she she saw. She saw. Man, that that you can tell who who the brains of that family because he she she nailed everything we said and she just <laughs> Cal is talking to talk. You can it, it sound good that to come out. That boy say, "Babe, that's a good point." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I, 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 I should have lost it. I should have lost it. But I can't. I, you said what I was going to say, but I just couldn't get the words out. Like, like you said, she was so smooth and so and so confident what she was talking about. Like, he like she been on the NFL, so NFL he, team for 15 he wanna, years. He one of them dudes just start bringing up old points and shit. Did, did y'all see the uniforms? The, hey, I know our boy. Look, he sounded like a whole bunch. Look, I know he our boy. But y'all know Jr. <laughs> Jr. I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. I mean, she might be on the NFL uh, com- uh, yeah. committee, bro. She know what's going she on. She right on it. Hey, right. Jay say, look at them eyes. <laughs> they glossed over. Man, Hannah oh. had a little had a little drink before, but this is had this this, this the final video, man. This cat talking about the uniform leak. 
Okay. Oh, he had to give back his love. There was a leak? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did see that and uh, got huddled up really quick. Came up with a plan to sort of address it straight on. And uh, we had um, Nico and Tank um, in the uniforms. And much better models. Much better models. It looks <laughs> a lot better on them. Uh, they're excited to put them on and show them off. And uh, we're excited for the fans to see those. But... Mm-hmm. Uh, just felt it was the right thing, you know, just to be transparent and come on out straight on and and address it. You That's couldn't let that hang out there. Right. I mean, there's no way you can let that. He wasn't even in uniform code. His socks were not all the way up. I mean, it was, it was not right. We had to get it right. That's had to one, put a good photo out. That's one of the newest things that you've gone through as an organization. I mean, it's the first time with some sort of massive uniform change. I know we've talked to with some of the people who have been charged. What's it been like for you to kind of watch it? play out and some of the ideas and the conversations from where you stand? Uh, well, there's been a lot of ideas and a lot of conversations and a lot of fan groups and a lot of... Uh, <laughs> what was from, that look? And the players and from our own staff. And so hearing from all, from just a big population, uh, getting their input has been a lot of fun. Mike, she's not playing for We didn't think we could... She's not play up for and so for Doug and his group to really execute on a, on a fast-paced plan, then the NFL supported us. Nike supported us. We had great support from Nike. And uh, we're excited to uh, let the fans see the whole closet uh, coming up in a couple of weeks. Okay, okay. At the meetings last year, this time, there was a full meeting about the uniforms and not sure if we were going to be able to get it done in time and colors and all sorts of things that were discussed in that meeting. So we feel really lucky to have it done this year. We really wanted something for 2024. Well, and then you mentioned leadership. What have you thought of Debico Ryan's leadership ever since the day you hired him? Oh, he's, been phenomenal, but he's been that way since he was a player here. He was that yeah, way the camera in college, focused he was in. that way in high school. Um, this is part of who <laughs> on the real owner. <laughs> you talk about leadership on the team. It's really interesting because when the ball is snapped, the center is oh, the leader of the team. He's got the ball. There you go. <laughs> what the he's hell the did he just say? Wait, I didn't see it. Running off you gotta rewind. Off the tackle. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Center. Interesting. You knew what you were getting. You talk about leadership on the team. It's really interesting because when the ball is snapped, the center is the leader of the team. He's got the ball. He hands it off to the quarterback. He's got the ball. He's a leader at that point. You're running off to the left tackle. Left tackle's got to be a leader and make that block. So all the guys have the mantle of leadership on offense and defense and special teams at different points in the game. And uh, it's really fun to see when a team can do that. And our guys were doing that last year. We can't wait to see them do it this year. The NFL owners are going to vote tomorrow about, you know, whether to make you the principal owner or whatnot. If they... Yeah, he talked about that already. Oh, man. Man, oh, man, that was wow. <laughs> Hey, and, and one more thing. When, well, one more thing. When we cheer, when you when you cheer, you become the leader. Of the <laughs> you become the leader. And, and, and then when the cheerleaders dance on the sideline, they become the leaders of the team. When you the get, when you yell for popcorn, that popcorn man comes down. Yes. He's a yes. leader. <laughs> When, when they cook them trio burgers, Bob B is cook. the leader. Bob B is the leader of this team. So oh, oh, Pass down from generation to generation. Oh, that was it. He no, must have heard no. it. He, somebody he told him that one a long time ago. He said the center. Because he was a center. Did he, did he, did he, did he put that center or a D tackle? Yeah, I don't think they the passed score, the ball man. back when he played. <laughs> Hey Mike, Mike, you asked that question. He said, "What was that for?" The way he looked at her, Anytime. the way he looked at her, and said, "Hey, get together, get together, Cal. Make, make the goddamn point. Don't let me step in again. If you if you step, if you say one syllable out of our content, I'm taking this shit back over. He said, I, I, "I got, I got the boss, I got the baby, and went on a tangent, and he was nice." So you start talking about that goddamn center who's the, who's the captain. <laughs> he said, you know, it's interesting. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> he had been thinking about that for he a minute. Said, oh, shit. 
I love him. He I said, I'm about to hit him with this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> AD, AD, he, he told his wife, watch, babe, I got stuff for him. I got okay. watch this, watch this press, press coffee. I, I ain't got never it. heard this break it down, baby. I ain't never heard this. I'm about to get him with this. <laughs> I, baby, you're going to be what? so proud of me. Watch me work. Watch when I when pull out this, the ball, watch when I pull out this big joker card. <laughs> big I'm, joker. I'm the big joker. I'm the big joker, right? When the center t- when the referee when the, re- when the referee get the ball, the referee be part of the team a little bit. Right. He kind of he kind of the leader. He not quite bit the leader, but he lead the ball to the center. The center lead the ball back to the Quarterback. There's only one problem. If we a shotgun, we really don't have a leader. We really don't have a leader right here. And that's why we got new uniforms. Right. That's well, you thought, well, I'm telling you, see, when she say wrap that shit up, <laughs> she, she, she <laughs> say, wrap that shit up. <laughs> he said that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all wrong. You know man. when the center, the center, when the center about has how good of a job he's been doing. He's the Come on, man. Y'all just say how good he's been doing. Bro. He becomes the leader. Then <laughs> 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 when we're running to the left, the hey, tackle and he's blocking. Please forgive he's us, he's the the man. But what what team was he watching? Because they <laughs> don't run the ball like that. <laughs> this ain't Lamar Eagles. This ain't Lamar Jackson. He didn't say the running back. You said no, the he left said tackle. when we run the ball. <laughs> you right with who? So, so he, the quarterback going to hold the ball the whole time, or he going to hand off the running back, and then he become a team captain? Look, yeah, he's a team let captain. Pause, let, me, let me pause. Let me pause. Let me pause. He's a team captain. Let me pause, man. Let me pause. Because <laughs> I don't want us to get a, go go. Uh, uh, yeah, they gonna kick us off of Twitter. <laughs> we were doing good when we first started the episode, giving Cal and Hannah. They ain't never gonna give us no video. <laughs> but, but I'm sorry, Cal. No, don't you apologize right now. You made this <laughs> baby, Cal. You, 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 just, you just gave us no other option but to go and go in because I don't know what the hell you were talking about, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I wish I did. Hold on, play, play that one more time, man. No, no, <laughs> no. Play, that one more, play it one more time, bro. All right, play it. Just, no. the, just the first part of it. Just, no. just the very first. What he said, uh, it was interesting. Yeah, that was interesting. Hey, hey. interesting uh, hold on, hold on. One, one more time. One more time. Hey, we we done with it, man. One more time. Hey, hey more AD, time. AD, it's, it's, it's when you got... It's when your boys be about to go rap. He said, "Man, I'm, I'm about to set this bitch on fire. Watch, I got, I, I, I got 16 balls on that ass for this. Watch, watch me work." There was a leak. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here he kind of looked down at his notes. <laughs> and everything. You knew what you were getting. You talk about leadership on the team. It's really interesting I'm, because I'm so proud of you. I love you so much, Cal. The ball is snapped. The center is the leader of the team. He's got the ball. So, so what the he fuck are you talking about, Cal? He's got the ball. He's a leader yeah. at that point. Yeah. You're running off to the left tackle. Left he tackle. That's, that's, right. that, that's, the right, that that's the right, though. That's the right. All but the guys okay. have the mantle of leadership on offense and defense and special teams at different points in the game. And uh, it's really fun to oh, see wow. what teams can do that. And our guys were doing that you last year. You actually moved ahead the way. Do it this year. No, I, I fucked uh, up, but oh, oh, well. It's all right. What did she say next? <laughs> oh, no. She cleaned it up, I thought. The NFL owners. Oh, no, they did. They, 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 oh, they, they went. Somebody saved them with a new question. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say this, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, let say, can't be Michael Dozen before he's in. <laughs> man, we love Cal. Cal, Cal's a big joker. Yeah, he still loves a big Cal, joker, so he bro. better not ever he's, leave Cal. He's, he's still the big joker. I'm, I'm not going to be that today. He's like, can't uh-huh. read from no some shit. <laughs> she can't leave Hannah now. She got part. She got half the football team. You know that's interesting. Right. <laughs> watch, he said. We said, watch me work, baby. I want to so snap the football. Me. I got me Please a parable. I got a parable. Go knock their socks off. Watch this. She's like, what the hell are you oh, talking about, God. baby? If you if you if you, if you mm-hmm. wasn't rich, you know what? 
Hey, he's my husband. He's my husband. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm he's sorry, my husband. Y'all. He's my husband. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, y'all. Hannah, look, I looked the way Hannah was looking at him. Her <laughs> arms were on his back. I'm thinking she pinching the shit out of his back. Like, motherfucker. <laughs> right. Shut up. On that, that, Shut that, 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 to the left. Man, we ain't, we ain't no good. We, we, we start look, up look, there. We, we start up man, there. We, we about to run through it real quick, baby. But we got sidetracked, man. Bye, bye. <laughs> we got four more weeks, buddy. We, we got had a whole 15 minute weeks. praise and worship yeah, ceremony. Yeah, we did. For, for yeah. McNair and Hannah we wrong. We wrong. We nah, yeah. We wrong. And we, <laughs> no. we feel wrong for that. But y'all, man, feel, look, please. Look, we trying to be right. We ain't we here. Like, well, it's all out of love, though. Yeah. Oh, because I'm, I'm laughing my ass off. I'm laughing with him. <laughs> she definitely patting him on the back and got him through this. <laughs> hey, what's that? What's that old book? What, what the, the Helen Keller book? The one that was the one was blind. Still bleeding. <laughs> Helen Keller. <laughs> I just want to know. Who, I just want to know how the hell you get a, a unanimous vote at the owners meeting. Yeah. Oh, it's by name alone. They 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 just want they just wanted to go through the situation. Yeah, it was like gone. We gonna we gonna get his get his back. I'm glad he got it though, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, because he's still a big joker. When all well, jokes aside, he's still a big joker. Well, he, I mean, he he the big joker, but he ain't nothing without being at the little joker next to him. Oh, he got he, he got, he got, he got, got his queen. He got, he his, got queen. his queen. <laughs> right. You got the wrong you. color. You usually got the wrong color. But the she queen. got dark hair. Babe, she, now, got, she, got she got black hair. She got black hair. Yeah, you gotta have the queen's face. She she is the queen. Yeah, she's the queen. Nah. Oh, queen, the queen, queen of diamonds, queen of diamonds, or the queen of hearts, queen of hearts. If, if Cal was single, do you think he'd be doing this? Nah, he'd be he'd be real fucked up, dude. Cal, <laughs> Cal, 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 Mm. Oh, we we be on here another hour laughing at Cam McNair. What draft are we doing? What is this? We, again? we love Cam. We're doing another mop for the. We team. doing another mop. We doing it every Cal. week, Chris. Every week for Cal. We for doing Cal. another mop. This for Cal. This for, Cal. This for, for Killer Cal and, and Cal McNair. For do all we y'all, got, do we even have Cal out there? For all you huh? draft fans, you know what? Friend. This is what I need. We need to address this. How many more weeks before the draft? Four. Four more Four weeks. More weeks. Can yeah. somebody, anybody, stop Nick Casario from making any more damn trades, bro? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Can no. you please? I mean, he 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 like goes in the book just to make a trade for the week. Let him cook, it's like baby. I gotta make this trade. My my statistics and my analytics say this would be good because I've been looking at mock drafts, and when I look at Minnesota, that they got the twenty third pick. I didn't realize they also had the eleventh pick. Right, they get a quarterback. They want a yeah, quarterback. They, so they're gonna get they a quarterback. They literally, they literally about to trade up. They about to yeah, trade up. Oh, you! But I've been seeing them getting the quarterback at eleven. Yeah, but uh, that ain't they, the quarterback that they want. They about that, to trade up. Yeah, hey, they want Chris. Justin Herbert. Hey, it's hey, about <laughs> it's a <laughs> it's about to be it's about to be four quarterbacks taken in the top ten. So hey, who Chris, do y'all think they want? Oh. Hold on, Chris. They want JJ McCarthy, but yeah, the Brian rumors McCarthy. are saying that um, Washington is going to take them. No hey, way. So they're going to end up being with, with Daniels or, or Drake May. I don't. Th- I don't think Washington going to take JJ McCarthy. Yeah, they 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 going to then they sign Mariota and they signed someone. And I heard the head coach say the reason they signed Mariota is because they wanted somebody to fit in that that image. And mm-hmm. then somebody asked him, "Well, don't isn't there a quarterback in the draft that's going to be like that?" And I think they were talking about the, the kid from Tennessee, uh, from LSU. Cal so. say Bucky. I guess he's talking about um Bucky Brooks said um he was on NFL Network and that's what they mm-hmm. quoted. Correct. And then. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me read this and then you got it, Juice. He, Brandon Hill said, uh, Hollum said, we drafted a wide receiver in the first round. It was Will Fuller. That same draft, the Chiefs got a DT in the second round. 
and a wide receiver in the fifth, and they were Chris Jones and Tyreek Hill. Hold on. But hold on. Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill had issues. Right. Had right. issues. So that's not he, a real that's not a real job. In the, in the right. auditorium. And Andy Reid don't care about your personal issues. He, right. he gonna, if you're a good player, he'll draft you. My, right. my thing about Chris Christoph is if yeah. they trade uh -huh. 11 and 23 to go to two, to go to two or three, and it's gonna be less than what we traded for to get them, <laughs> to get Will Anderson. It's gonna be <laughs> the fuck. Oh, It'd be another first. Time. <laughs> That's crazy, man. And all they give up is two is a, <laughs> or two peaks. And that's what I've been seeing. I've been seeing 11 and 23 to move up to four or five. That's and, great. And, 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 may, and maybe, and maybe a, a late draft pick just to make it look sound good. But they they might give up less picks to get a quarterback than we did to get with Anderson. Just Wait, to wow. Wow. It'll that's be another amazing. first, though. <laughs> uh, here's the Relative situation with it. But on our side of it, I'm, my, thing, my, my question is, I guess he, I guess he values all these players that have the same talent all the way down to forty-two. Yeah, that's why. That's what me and he talked about a couple days ago. Is if you just if he does if he's not in love with anybody at twenty-three, and you're still building a roster for this year and next year, you can go ahead and trade down. I didn't want not so, so I, I always want to trade down to the, the the last the last <laughs> the last round the last round. <laughs> I mean, the last pick of the first round. No, this this get this get your first round pick. Or if you're not, at least go get <laughs> the fort that's uh, the, the the Washington Washington Commanders thirty six and forty. I would like that. But what he did get one from this year, one from next year, that was a big, big, big drop back to me. That was too much to give up for a first round. Pick. Hey, but now we got two second round picks. So let's let's. I, I, I thought they were going. I always said they were going to trade down. Yeah, um, I thought, but I always start at the bottom of the first or and right. beginning of the second round. But mm -hmm. let's go ahead and let's let's we're gonna let him cook, though. We're gonna let him cook. I can't see nothing, y'all. Y'all just have to walk me through. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. It's the it's the first round. We ain't we ain't gonna we ain't gonna. Oh, we ain't gotta look at that. Yeah, we ain't gonna mm -hmm. right. All right, Jacksonville trying to trade. We trade down again for forty two to forty eight. Um, and we get pick ninety six in return. Nah, and. Uh, the Giants trying to give us a 2025 20, third round pick to move down five spots. Nope. I'm I'll good. take the Jacksonville trade. You take nah. the Jacksonville trade? Mm -hmm. I want I'll nah. take off. I need all my picks right, right now. Y'all want to get 96? What is 96 in the third? 96 in the third round pick. Y'all better get them thirds. Now you, got, now you guys, you still got two seconds. You're going to have two thirds, two fourths. Yeah, but that's that's the that's, that's, that's your division. I don't know if I want to give him a, a, a good player. So who's on the board? Let's, let's go. Who do you think they're gonna go get? Well, who's hold on. Let's see who's on the board first. So you got. Right. So let's let's go down the list. It looks like who's Caleb. Hold, hold on, I'm going down the list, Chris. Caleb, oh, Williams, Jane Daniels, Drake May. So the three quarterbacks went back to back to back. Malik mm -hmm. Neighbors went number four Whoa. over Marvin Harrison. Whoa. Marvin Harrison went to the Chargers. That's gonna be nasty. Um, oh, you're assuming they, they're gonna throw the ball, right? <laughs> they traded too. So it looks like the Rams traded the Vikings traded down instead of trading up. Yeah, from eleven. Now from eleven, they traded down. It could happen though, but I, I think yeah. the what same did they get? They the the when Rams the went. The Rams went up to get um Latu. Yeah, they don't. They don't not finish. Oh, yeah. Not Latu. Latu ain't the player you trade up for. Man, he's then, pretty good, man. I was watching he's the good. Uh, JJ he's McCarthy good. went to the Broncos. Um, Mims went to the to the Colts. Turner went to Jacksonville. Chop Robinson went to the Vikings. I don't understand it because they basically <laughs> traded down for an edge rusher when they could have got a better edge rusher. Right. Um, yeah. Eleven, but um, be oh, next, they end up getting Bo Nix at twenty three. Um, it's crazy. Jerry Verso well, damn near failed at 23. If he would have been at 23, I would have been pissed. Mm. Um, you're gonna be pissed at who took that 23 what, this year. I'm telling you right now. Um, Keon, look, look, three receivers uh, went back to back, back. AD Mitchell, Keon Coleman, and Xavier Worthy went to the Bills, Lions, and the Ravens. Um, didn't go oh, 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 the Lions picked them up. Lions picked Keon Coleman up, yeah. 
Yeah, because they, they, they all they of them honestly. Because Josh, Josh Reynolds went to some, somewhere else. Yeah, and then Tavondre Swift went to the Cardinals. Um, Cooper DeGene went to Washington. Isaac went to Washington. Franklin went to Carolina. Um, so we hit 42. Um, you got Michael Penix, you got Newbin, you got McConkey, TJ Tampa, uh, Adrian Cooper, that's our boy. Um, Malachi Corley, um, Raking Straw. And um, I think that's let me look at the receivers. What are the receivers you got? Legit is still there, Roman Wilson, Mal uh Jalen Polk, um <laughs> Ricky Persall. So I'm you, yeah, I'm take, take, take the trade. You say take the trade? Nah. Yeah, this one. Nah. Get that extra third. Nah. Oh, who do you, unless y'all really want somebody. And there's, there's not somebody I, I really want. You're going to ruin the prop. Come on. Mm. Oh. You're going to ruin the prop. Oh. You want lag? You want lackey? Oh, lag's pretty good, man. Mm. Hey, well, you got overruled, Mike. We're taking the trade. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's do that again. No, no, go back. And guess what? Oh, he's, he's still, still there. there. <laughs> hey, who who did Jacksonville get? Who went? Who went after that? So after, so at forty two, the Jacksonville traded up to get T.J. Tampa the corner. Yeah. Um. Then you got yeah. Jalen Polk went to Atlanta. Phoenix went to the Raiders. That's a good pickup. And Cooper BB. Guard went to the Saints. They needed that. Um, Chris Broswell went to the Colts. And then Rick and Straw went to the Giants. That's what I might want to want it. So everybody's players still there. Yeah. yeah. So who, who, who's up there? We taking Adrian Cooper. How you going? Just because a &M boy. Calm down. <laughs> we still got to vote for it. So who you, who you got, Mike? I mean, I like Newman, but, you know. I'd I, I say, I say the two. You got to go McConkey. Okay, Chris. Uh, I'm giving CJ more weapons than he can handle, so I'm going Xavier Leggett. Where is Leggett? Oh, he way down here. I, I'm, you know, I'm a, um, a linebacker in heart. I love linebackers. I think linebackers are the heart of the defense. So I'm gonna go with AM. Hold on, before we pick AM, is he gonna start? Or is he gonna come closer? It don't matter. Yeah, I think I think, I think I think I think the they tank, start. The tank they'll start at the beginning of the season. But I'm saying, when will he start? Will he be a starter? He eventually will during the year. Over who? I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna run a lot, a lot over more. over Z's. No way. Nah, I think I think they're gonna run a lot more. I think they're gonna run a lot more three linebackers than they, than they did last year. We pay we pay the Z's too much money, and Christian Harris ain't going nowhere. Like I said, I think they're gonna yeah. play a lot more three linebackers than they did last year because they didn't have linebackers to play last year. Christian Harris did get benched this year. Well, hold up. If if Chris switched to Lad, what do we do if it's two to two? If what hey. if you what if you switch to Leggett? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh hey Travis, Travis say Leggett might make it to our next pick. I switch to Lad. Okay. So okay. Card time. Let's go and look at the cards. Let's say we're going to do the cards. <laughs> we'll have the big joker. No, man. Hey, if the big joker picking, we getting the center, leader of the team. <laughs> All right. Well, well, this is going to be me, me and Eddie's pick. High card win. Okay, high card. Well, to That's me. a six. That's oh, a six. But y'all got to explain to us why y'all want a linebacker. Hold on. Not gonna be y'all yeah. turn. Y'all receive it time. See high car win. High car win. I ain't why y'all want a linebacker though. I will, I will. I ain't go queen. 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 Take, 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 take the receiver. Uh, take the receiver. Well, I want I want to get. I don't want that. Well, you can wait to get a get. The get ain't gonna go in the, the top the top the top round like that. Well, that mean we getting we get Cooper. Hold on. Let's talk. We talked this out. We still got a minute on the <laughs> 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 You still got a minute. So, uh, from from my opinion, Chris, you actually question. My opinion is, like I said, I think they're going to play a lot more three linebackers than they did previous years because of the mm -hmm. lack of talent that we right. haven't seen. I tell you this, I watched I watched two Forty Niners games from two years ago. They hardly ran any three linebacker sets. 
it was always uh, two linebacker sets. They rotated. They rotated um, Shakir and um, Greenlaw in and out. Green, Greenlaw is, 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 is Aziz. Aziz Aziz Shakir. Yeah, Al Shakir. Those two rotated in and out, and then the the mainstay was um, with Warner. Well, yeah, Warner. Warner. The games I watched, Warner and Aziz played all game long. O two two. What was Greenlaw? I don't know if he was hurt. I don't know what, but they. Well, yeah, he did get hurt. Right. So that's why I said I think they're gonna run a lot more three linebackers than they did last year. That's then that could be the reason why they ran that heavy because they didn't have a third linebacker linebacker to play. Correct. See? So and 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 this year, last year, you couldn't trust three linebackers out there because Christian Harrison would not with Henry play. Noah Noah. Yeah, Harris didn't get didn't really get into to, to week seven. Uh, per, uh, Perriman is just a hit hit machine, and Toa Toa and Henson and, and Black Kishman they're they're good players, but they're not they're not all star. They're not difference makers. Um, well, I remember the last time y'all put the Texas and them guy on us. Huh? <laughs> hey. I- Hey, we, y'all won. Y'all won. Y'all, if y'all want to get, go get Leggett. I, I, hey, I, I, but, um, say, this is what Killer Cal say. He said, if Harris have another breakout year, Harris is gone. He's going to be a $100 million linebacker. Adrian Cooper is a good. Is good. Um, Listen, there's, there's, only, there's only one linebacker in the game right now. Two linebackers in the game right now that are going to get $100 million. And they already got paid. That's well, Ron Smith, and that's uh, Fred, Fred Warner. Fred Warner get $100 million. Well, this, go, this and get, go ahead and get Country Boy. Yeah. Uh, but no, this is the thing. He said Leggett is the better out of the two. Remember last time Leggett is gonna be there at sixty. It's, uh, what was that? What's our next pick? Fifty nine. Fifty nine. Leggett right. is gonna be there. That's why. I'm, so my thing is, um, he said Texas Underground said Miko doesn't run three linebackers. They rotate one linebacker. That's that's okay. what I just said. Okay. That you that Cooper is gonna rotate. We don't have to take Adrian Cooper, but do y'all think we take the safety? I like safety too. You got you got to start the safeties. Who got who safeties? Unfortunately, I think you're right. I think they're gonna I, roll with Jimmy. Right. I don't. I'm not saying that's. I, I just don't think they drafting two receivers because I feel like it's gonna be another receiver later on. Later on. I'll, yeah, like uh, if we gonna draft Leggett, let let Leggett What about okay? Here's, here's, a, here's a question. What about the kid? What about the the uh, Wilson kid linebacker? Is he any hey, good? Hey, mm. Yeah. He's you in, him in the second or third. You, look, you're right. You don't have to worry about Peyton Wilson because he's gonna be in the, in the um, trauma center because he's gonna be always being hurt in rehab. I think so okay, it makes sense. But Why? see, this, this, this go, I tell y'all what. I'm, I'm, that's I'm, what his whole career been, Mike. No, it's time. It's time to. It's time to run with the team. So I'm. I'm gonna jump with the team. I'm gonna jump down with the with the team and let's take Cooper. All let's right. take Cooper and see where's Chip Fall. All right, we're gonna I mean, at, at this point right now, this is exactly what Nick. This is what Nick done. This is what Demico wants, and this is what Texans Texans fans want. We want to be pick who we want to pick. We don't have to. We don't have to be desperate to get anybody. No, yeah. we're not yeah. desperate to get any of these guys. No, we're not. And it, it just for everybody's sake, I wouldn't have picked this guy, but I'm down with it. All right, so we got Cooper, and guess what? Got a trade. Yeah, we got a trade, but I ain't, I ain't, I ain't doing that. That's yes, too So, Lad, Lad, Malachi Corey got, Corley got drafted before Lad. D, Michael Hall went at 55. That's not good. That's not a bad spot. That was high. Um, Chris yeah. Jenkins went early to it. I, like, I, thought, I thought we need Chris, Chris Jenkins in the third round. Um, but here, here you go. Guess who's still here, Chris? Who's still here, baby? Legat. Legat? Let's go go ahead and, and knock out Leggett, man. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hold on. Where do we pick next? Leggett. We pick uh, 80, 88, 89. No, we got, no, we got 69. 69. Next pick is 86. Yeah, we got third round pick. I mean, go you, still got, you still got Jonathan Brooks. You got um, Sanders, the tight end. You got Leonard Great Taylor, time. defensive tackle. You got Braden Fisk, the defensive tackle. What y'all want to do? It ain't got to be Leggett, you guys. I mean, I don't know the receiver outside of Leggett right what, now. What are the, what are the, what are the, I mean, what um, the, wrong what about safety? What, what about safety? Come and say. Who's up to safety? 
Y'all want to let the comments pick this one? They, 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 they ain't really coming. They, they watching. <laughs> That's a sound like a no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. I think we go ahead, go to get. Mike. Yeah, I guess Leggett. I mean, I like Fisk, but I think Leggett's a better option there. How far down is Fisk? Okay, Fisk, about to get, Fisk got picked right after Chris. Mm. Trey Benson gone. Oh, we still had a chance at Roman Wilson. Mm. I don't like Roman Wilson. Y'all like him? No. He is so I, slow to me. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think he's going to – I don't think they want a receiver that's going to challenge. He's hey, underwhelming. Hey. He's very underwhelming to me. But for wide receiver three, I think that's what they want, though. Yeah, so yeah but I mean, why, would you, why would you want underwhelming? Because they, because Nick, 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 and Tank is going they're not number one guys. So know. let me let me read off the <laughs> let me read off the guys. So Peyton Wilson went to the Packers, Taylor went to the Broncos, Fist went to the Chiefs. So oh, they got crazy. they they got they um Chris Jones replacement. Uh, Please. Jonathan Brooks went to Washington. That really oh, don't make sense. Man. Um. And then you had McKinley Jackson. Damn, that was hot for him. Trey he went Benson. to the Falcons. Um, Sanders went to the Raiders. Will <laughs> Shipley went to the Bengals. Persaud went to the Colts. And then Renardo Green is a corner I like, but we, so we did sign two corners. And then Roman Wilson went to the Chiefs. So we, we got Wilson on top of the board. So you got Cedric Von Prahn as the center. You got um, – is this, pick, is this the pick we got in the trade? Yeah, no, no, no. The pick is coming up right after that. Um, you got DJ James as a corner. You got Blake Corum as a running back. You got Johnny Wilson. Um, Bucky Irvin running back. Oh, you got the Michigan corner there. Oh, San Squirrel. Yeah. I think he'll be there to the third. He'll be, I think he'll be there in 96. But yeah, what do y'all do? Y'all want to pick another position? Do y'all want to get Bullard the safety? Who's the top D tackle? Uh, shit, they all gone. Dwayne Carter or Mason Smith? I think Mason Smith would be in the fourth. Yeah, he'd be there in the fourth. I go safety. Who's the best? Who's the best safety out there? Javon Bullard, the safety from Georgia. What about corner? Corner DJ James. Oh yeah, yeah. From Auburn. Who's that from Auburn? Yeah. Yeah, this is a big guy. 6'1", 174. though. That's thin as a rail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll go for safety. Uh, Mike's, Mike's, that Mike, Mike uh, the guy from Michigan, makes some sense because we don't have a slot. Was, was, I mean, not, not that we don't have a slot, but we're weak at slot. Correct. Hey, shout out to Just Fans Podcast, man. They just was on with VT and Leo on Texas 22. Y'all go check them out. They just had an interview with Kareem Jackson um, last week. So y'all go check them out, man. Is there um, – Y'all want to go corner? A slot corner? I forgot about Javon Baker. I think we can get him a little later though, right? Yeah, Yvonne say we need to get a running back. That's what I'm talking about, a running back. Cal say give CJ more bullets, draft late. Oh, you late, Cal. Yeah, I think we ought to get more bullets. To whole, he had to write his whole paragraph. What about why was he? Went in 20 minutes late. Well, it, you had me in the first half, and then you lost me there at the end. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he said we can move on from Mitch and Woods. Yes, from Woods. We're not moving on from Mitchie. Not yet, anyway. I think so. And they so say go, why are we holding on? The on say go bullet. Uh, no, go go to running. Look at running back real quick. I mean, you got Braylon Allen, no, Blake Corn, no, Luke we'll Find one later on. No, Jalen no, no, Wright no. is a guy I like, but that's later yeah. on. Yeah, you can find him later on. I didn't know how little Jalen Wright was. Yeah, five ten. Yeah, yeah. five ten, two ten. Yeah, yeah it's not he, bad. Looks short. he looks short. I thought he was like six one, six two, oh, but I seen him running against somebody. And he just looks short. Yeah, but, he but I mean, he's, he's about the same size. What's crazy? He's about the same size as Joe Mixon. Yeah, five ten and five ten and six foot is about the same size. All right, we gotta make a pick, guys. All right, let's, what's, let's what's the wide pick. receivers that's available? I mean, we just, I mean, like I told you, Walker, Wilson, Burden, Malik Washington, Thrash, 
Um, Javon Baker, like these are guys. Luke McCaffrey, you could get later on. Hold up, hold up. Chris heard two names. He heard Malik. two words. He heard Malik Washington. That's all he yeah. heard. Man, Mike, you are so on point, bro. <laughs> you are so on point. Are we going bullet? Like we sitting in the same room. <laughs> I am. We I, I guess here. bullet. Chris, we going bullet because we still got pick ninety six in the trade. Who's bullet, the cornerback. Your safety. Baby. A safety. Yeah, from Georgia. A safety. Mm hmm. Is he the number one safety? Is he good? He the top safety on the board right now. Hey. The next safety is like 20, 20 picks. Twenty so picks. 30, 30 picks. Damn it. What does he pick? Is he picked at eighty three? Yeah, he picked 83, so we'd be... We'd take him at 96? Right, 80s, 86. We'd take him at 86. Let's ride with it, baby. Ooh, I got nervous. I thought you were about to pick Corin by mistake. <laughs> we're going to have to the whole thing over. Here we go. All Here right, we so go. now we back at it again. You got you got DJ James. You got Corum. Um Go 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 overall? Is that the overall list? Yeah, this is overall. Yeah, thinking that Michigan corner. I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, let's try. All right. Okay, we're going to go Sanskrit. Or how you say his name? I think Look at it. it. Look at it. Let me see what it say. You say S-A-N-R-I-S-T-I-L. Same Ristol. Same Ristol. Mike Saint Ristol. That's how Xavier Leggett was. He's there. a smaller guy, but I mean, he. Everybody been talking about him. Y'all, oh, you know how they do the. Do you know how they do the the draft interviews in between the draft? Mm hmm We like to interview uh, the Xavier Xavier Leggett for the Houston Texas. How you feel about getting selected by the Houston Texas? Well, I really like it a lot. I think I get down oh, there Lord. and play some good mm -hmm. football. That's why y'all want to draft the draft is able to get just because of that. I just can't wait for CJ Stroud to throw me that football right there in my belly, man. I'm going to catch it. I'm going to tuck it in, and I'm going to run a touchdown. Not crazy. Hey, everybody, chat saying the same. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to pick him at, at uh, 96. Well. And now we wait until we get to pick 123, which is Ooh. right there. And if running back, boy is there. running back need to be the pick here, and there your boy. You know Nick. Nick will have traded four times by now. I know. <laughs> my, 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 who's the next pick? I I want to say it's Jalen Wright. I'm talking about what's the next uh, selection for us? After this, one twenty three is one twenty seven. Four picks later. And what is Jalen Wright? Jalen Wright is one sixteen. Uh, I mean, gonna... Get your boy, man. Go on, go on, oh, go on get back. I know somebody's gonna take my lead. No, Chris, you said that the last time, man. There ain't nobody right. I, that for. I let my lead ride. We Go need ahead. a running back, though. We need a running back. We can get a running back later, can we? Who's the other running back? Ain't no Where more, run, ain't no more worth, worth a damn. Well, Ray Shoot. Davis. You got Ray Davis. I ain't picking no Ray Davis. Hold on, Go scroll. You got yeah. Isaiah Santiago. <laughs> Dylan, Dylan, Dylan Johnson. <laughs> What's his name? He got Isaac Gorilla Gorilla on. Dylan Johnson is 280 pounds. We're not you just that. saying names now, Chris. You just no, saying Isaac, names. Isaac, <laughs> what's his name? Isaac Isaac Gerondo. And just, just because you can't say his name, we're gonna draft Jalen Wright. Oh no. Jalen Wright is a little bit of okay. He ain't Chris, he bigger than Isaac. Okay, let's go. Oh, they about the same. No, Isaac by six one, six two. Isaac is six feet. Come on, man. We'll take your guy. Now look at that, Chris. Who that? Ain't nobody touch him. Well, come on, AD. Take your guy. Y'all look around first. Look around. Don't just take I mean, we don't touch look look at what we've touched. We touched linebacker, safety, corner, running back, wide receiver. Right. Deep tackle. Deep, deep. Go ahead, take it. It ain't no defense tackles, little Jews. Okay. Pick, because pick. we can probably go on now, too. Pick Washington. 
I don't take Malik. Then we can get rid of Robert Woods. <clears throat> We're gonna trade next year's first Damn, for a tackle anyway. I think I've seen my guy go. Because you got ten thousand guys. <laughs> 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 So, Eric All is tight end from Iowa. You got Tyron Tracy running back from Purdue. You got – um That's all the tight end? No, you still got um Hoker from Colorado State. Um, What pick is this? This is pick 188. Mm-hmm. Give me a first team, guy. Come out with some speed on it. What, a tight end or yeah, – What's the tight end say? Eric All. From Iowa, and you got Dalen, uh, Dylan Hoker. Ooh, they really ate up all the tight ends. They wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't good ones this year anyway. Shit, well, uh, Brock take, Bowers, but Jaheim Bell would have been nice in this offense. Mm-hmm. Well, other than that, man, I mean, it's, it's cupboard is getting bare. Yeah, it's not. We don't need going. no tight end. Now, just give me somebody with okay. speed. How many more them. picks we got? We got two? three more picks. Yeah. One of them last two gonna be offensive linemen. Give me a guard right now. He's not even gonna make the team, y'all. Why not? You only got eight guys that's gonna be on the squad. You got a nice Smith. <laughs> I always did like a nice movie until last year. Um, Shoot, honestly, he's the Iowa tight end. Is that guy still there? Hey, they say get – oh, how gone? Yeah, Mike Paul been gone. Who? I like Jordan. I like Jawan Ju- Ju- Jordan, but you could probably get him with the next pick. That's a lot of, that's a lot of running backs. He can play the slot, too. And he can do return kickoff. And he's speed like we asked for special teams. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that Iowa tight end. You want to get Eric all? Yeah. Just given their, uh, you know, recent history over the last six, seven years. Have y'all, have y'all ever seen that B- BYU tight end, Isaac Rex? Is he still there? He way down the line. He way down the line. Mm-hmm. Tip, Tip Raymond is still there. Yeah. Tip, get his, Tip his, Raymond. His stock seems to be going up, too. Yeah, get Tip Raymond. So we're going to reach for Tip Raymond? You ain't gotta I mean, honestly, him. it's probably not a reach because he, I've go seen some him. buzz him going in the fourth round. Yeah. Right, let's go ahead and get Tip. Get T.I.P. Just the Tip. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Diddy. No Diddy. All right, so now we are at <coughs> is the covers are getting bad, y'all. We can get it Ron Watts and special team safety. Dude, you all right? Dude's okay. Yeah, he's good. Uh, who you got at cornerback? You got Quinn Newsom, Micah Abram. Um, Jaden Davis from Florida, Miami. What about his figures? Did we pick up a safety already? Yeah, we did. This is interesting. The guy from the CFL, uh huh, Quantez Stiggers. Yeah, now is he a team captain? <laughs> Should I don't know. He played for the um, <laughs> he played for um, for the CFL. But you got Ron Watts, you got Jahar Jordan, you got Rick still there. It's a hard job. We ain't getting now. We can't go out this draft with no defensive tackles. Why not? You get them a free agent. I mean, we didn't pick one Bama or Ohio State player. I think we got to hit that quota, right? Mm. Ain't nothing left. Go to Texas A and M, dude. I ain't picking him. I don't. I don't want him. You know it's bad. Man, this dude, look it's at his grass score, man. Uh, go look at John Jordan's grass score. Do he have a grass score? Nope. No. Or if he does, it's not listed. 
All right, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get offensive lineman with this pick. Uh, they got Chris Collins. Go waste the pick, bro. It's the second round, Chris. I know, but you would tell you how you gonna waste the pick because he gonna because you got five starters. You got Kendrick Green. You got Patterson. You got Dietrich. Dietrich, whatever the other. He the gone man. <laughs> you got uh, you got Charlie Heck. You got who is the other guy? Roderick, the other guy we brought back. Mm-hmm. I mean, this pick is getting traded anyway, but still, yeah. 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 But you signed a bunch of guys that are going to be. We only go four deep. I mean, you know, nine deep at the most. So you bringing in a rookie at the seventh round? He's not going to make the squad. Not a ninth round rookie. Damn, nobody wants the pick. <laughs> Hey, look, let, let's just – Any special teamers? This is this the last, very last pick? We got a kicker and punter and all that. We ain't, we oh, ain't we are still going to kick and punter in man. Is this our last pick or do we got one after that? We got that? one more after that. That's why I'm like, I don't, I don't even want to pick. I think Ryan Watts is a good pick, though. All right. Yeah, he'll play special teams and all that. Uh, I know we got enough safeties, but unless y'all want to go DT – Shoot, go uh, ahead. Go get that. Wait, what's his weight? Oh shit! No, he was two seventy one. No. Oh no 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 no. Nah. Uh, what about Newsom? Uh, yeah, we got enough fake defensive tackles that aren't really D tackles. Uh, listen, we only got one running back to starter right now. We only got one starting running back. We're going into the we're going into the to the training room yeah. with one one starter. With a uh, mixing, well, and then you just drafted another one. I, right? I think everybody only has one starting running back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what I'm saying, who's your backup to your running back? Jalen Wright. Jalen Wright. Who's backup to him? Joel Jordan, huh? Yeah. Uh, Rex Burkhead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, this our last pick. Let's go ahead and just get somebody offensive lineman or something. Uh, tackle. They got a tackle that's working thing. Damn, six seven three fifty three. Shit. Yeah, uh, shit. I don't know. What's who's the best player available? <laughs> Richard, I'm not drafting him, man. Where's the Where's the corner that I was looking at? Is he still Wait, available? Sir. Stickers? Well, that was him, huh? Stickers? Yeah. Yeah, let's go with him. Bobby Lever. Oh. All right, that's our draft. So we got a line. We went defense heavy. <laughs> <laughs> we got a linebacker. We got a safety. We got two corners. Um, and, a, and the rest is offense. So two receivers, two corners, two running backs. A tight end, linebacker, no defensive lineman. All right, y'all. Look, we running overtime. We 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 going heavy. Um, <laughs> sorry about y'all missing the comments. I was up here working, working the working the screen. But um, shout out to everybody in the chat. Texas Underground, Lakeville. Um, Trail 39, uh, Travis Jones, Brandon Hollum, Hollum, um, Killer Cal, Travis, uh, Yvonne, Just Fans Podcast, um, DJ Waller, Blue Boy Shine, Jay, um, King Flocker, PG, G Rob, um, H, uh, HTX Josh, um, John Joshua. And then um, I said DJ Wall already and Coach Dante, man. Appreciate everybody um, chiming in. This is our draft right now. Um, we will post it in a little bit. But, yeah, man, um, let me get out of that. Um, but, yeah, now nah, this has been another episode of the Ace Time Run. I think Jules had a phone call. Y'all know it's past his bedtime anyway. Um, but, yeah, now nah, I want to shout out my co-host Mike G, um, C-Raw. Yes, sir. Jules. 
Um, this has been a good, a good, great, funny episode, man. It's been y'all great, go, baby. It's been ahead. wonderful, man. Y'all go Thank ahead and like, funny. share, and subscribe to the podcast to the H Town Rundown. Y'all keep it going, keep it going. Um, appreciate everybody um joining in. Um, we we will take on the ground. We we got them for the next for next week's so when we do another draft next week. That's an interesting point. <laughs> you know what's interesting? The center, when he has the ball in his hands, um, he's the leader. Yeah. When he hikes it to the AD, then AD's the leader. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but now, nah, man, like I said, it's been another episode of H-Town Rundown. We like, share, and subscribe to the, podcast, to the podcast, and we'll see y'all on the next episode next week, man. Peace.